Winterfest. Winterfest? <laughs> it's finally time to add the shug. Hi David, hi Ian. <laughs> <laughs> now with my cake, I'm gonna tell a story. Now Michael, the hedgehog. With the baby bean. Meow. Yeah. Oh. That's disgusting. Ree's a bit sleepy. Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. Um, today we're going to be doing a bit more of like a chilled home vlog type thing. Um, we've both got the day off of work. It's about, what's the time? Nearly 11 o'clock. We've already been up and out and been food shopping. Um, and we're just sort of going to chill for a bit now. Yeah. Um, we've got a plan to add um, the main section of this video in for this afternoon. Um, but I'm just going to get some uni work done. Alex is playing... Uh, I'm going to play GTA for a bit. He's going to play GTA for a bit. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be a bit of a chilled video. Just having a day at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was putting a really funny oh. face behind the camera. No. <laughs> Ree's a bit sleepy. I've just woken up from a nap. I did do some uni work. Some. I did quite some. a bit. And then, because I was doing uni work in bed, I got a bit sleepy, so I had a nap. And Alex didn't decide to wake me up because he was having too much fun playing GTA. But we've woke I've woken up. <laughs> you finished yeah. playing. And we're very hungry. Very hungry. So Food! Food. Food. That's just weird. <laughs> You're so weird. What we have them? We're going to have cheese and cucumber and salad cream sandwiches. Oh, yum. Garnished with some olive bread. <laughs> olive spread because it's I better than butter. butter. Butter's disgusting. This happens when I wake up from a nap. I'm either really You're grumpy just so strange. or I end up in a really weird mood. Do I? Let's get these sandwiches going. <laughs> in like a proper strange mode. Mode? Mood. Mode. 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 <laughs> Not a camera. Not a camera. And here is our lunch. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> 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 um, we've literally just got uh, cheese, cucumber and salad cream sandwiches on some, what was it? Tiger. Tiger loaf bread. And then redone all, ugh. Gross. Mm -hmm. And then a bowl of like tortilla chips. He thinks that's enough for both of us. Mm. But I've so already cute. told him oh. he's wrong. Yeah, we've got that and then and then just like the set of four dips that we've just got like left over. That was from Tesco's. So let's go sit down and take a little nibble on this.
the baby bean. The bone. Meow. Stop cleaning the floor with the cat. She loves it. She loves to be pushed it's along so the floor. Ridiculous. Look how happy she is. The little bee. Beep beep. So <laughs> we've had our lunch, um, and now it is time to bake. Woohoo! Oh my god! <laughs> um, and so it's sort of like autumn, winter time, that kind mm. of thing. So we're doing like spiced cupcakes. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. I have got Vin Vinterfest. <laughs> Winterfest. <laughs> <laughs> they're um, cupcake cases from Ikea um, and they're like Christmassy ones. It's just got like blue, red and black on there um, and then it's got like little Santas and trees. Um, I don't know how Pretty well. Cool. Block my face. There you go. So yeah. pretty cool. We're using them. I do have some tartan ones I wanted to use, but they're like too wide and not deep enough for our tray. So yeah. we're going to go with these ones instead. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they're um. going to have like different spices in it, a bit of ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg. Yep. Yeah. And then nice. we've bought like a few sort of like little decoration kind of which bits we will to go show on top. You in a bit. Which we'll show you when we get around to that. Yeah. Uh, but it should make them quite like autumnal. Yeah. I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mmm, cake. 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 I love cake. So the first thing we're doing is 150 grams of the sugar. What sugar have we got? So we've got dark mascarpone sugar because it's going to be kind of like a spiced gingerbready type cake. Yeah. This is the best sugar to use. Um, yeah. It's like really gloopy, if that makes sense. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to Gloopy explain Gloopy sugar. It. Yeah. Well, Mary Berry has spoken. Okay, it's not gloopy, but it's very sticky. Yeah. I can smell amazing. it from here. Oh, it does smell good. So I feel like I can kind of like break it off in a chunk. Yeah, just dump it in. A hundred. What do you need? A hundred and fifty? Yeah. And obviously if any of you want like the recipe or whatever, just like message below or whatever, we'll pop it like in the description. Yeah, we can let so you Just so you can give it a go. Because we're kind of using a mixture of two recipes, which sounds really strange, but I've got like a basic cupcake recipe, which I use all the time that my dad taught me. Um, and then there was another one online for these specific like spiced cupcakes. So I've kind of included them in our basic yeah. cupcake recipe. As usual, we're just winging it, basically. Yeah, I kind of looked at how much the lady put in of the spices, but I think because she puts more ginger in than more cinnamon, but I think I want it the other way around. Yeah, so, I prefer cinnamon as well. Cinnamon? Minimum, we'll minimum, see minimum, how minimum. it goes. So that's the <laughs> amount of sugar. So awesome. we're going to walk the sugar over here. Oh, yeah, we get to use the, the beautiful cake mixer. Dump that in there. Is... Was that yeah. your auntie that gave us that? Well, uh, oh, you sorry. were so close. I didn't realise I, I was still so close. I might have looked just then. Yeah, I think we got given that for my auntie. Yeah. But it is awesome. I enjoy using this because it saves my arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to like measure out the rest of the stuff we need. But what else do we need? I don't Spread. even know. Spread, like, like butter, uh, oh, flour, caster sugar. That'll be later no, on. No, that's icing sugar. Oh. <laughs> My bad. You can tell he bakes often. <laughs> I was just trying to see it from over here, but I just yeah. couldn't. I just saw like silver spoon. I was like, well, that's come some kind of sugar in there. It is some sort of sugar, you are right. So yeah, let's get measuring. So we've got um, the weird sugar and the spread in there together. So now we need to just mix that together. Yep. Uh, I think this thing's quite loud, so. Yeah. I think I'll just put, put a little bit of music it. on now. <laughs> Enjoy. If we turn it on. Well, 
I've turned it on at the wall, but the plug's not in. <laughs> <laughs> So, wow. let's turn that back down to zero and try again. Here we go. So the butter and the sugar is mixed, Alex is now going to do the honours of cracking the eggs. So we're not putting vanilla in the mix because we're having the spices instead. So we're going to go straight in with the eggs, um, lovely. He's got to add one at a time with it slowly sort of mixing, um, yeah, and then once that's done we'll get on to the dry ingredients going in. What's the worst that can happen? So. So one annoying thing about using the mixer is it always gets stuck on the sides. Yeah, so but just scrape a bit more of the butter down. So Alex is about to add the flour, so it's just plain flour that we've got. Um, just a cheap Tesco brand because flour is flour. <laughs> yep. um, and you've got to add 175 grams. Easy does it. I was trying to work out where 100. <laughs> 100 and what? 175. Even if I, I can read scales, you must be able to read scales. I'm bad with numbers. Oh, wait, what? What did you go up in? 15. No, 25. <laughs> 15. Wait, 25. no. 25. Yeah. So you need to go up to the third yeah, line. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I thought it was, but I want to double check before I put too much in. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Oh. Okay, um, and then, hang on. Wait, put do you want to just add this in? Yeah, but what we're going to do, because we are adding in like the spices, because that's dry, I'm just going to tip it in with the flour and do it all in one go. Okay. So we need a spoon, a teaspoon. So we're adding in cinnamon and ginger. And? Nutmeg. Oh um, yeah. Um, I used to love having nutmeg on my, um, it's really nice. Oh, it's sealed, so oh. I can't smell it. <laughs> I used to love having it on my porridge in the mornings when I was younger. Mm -mm. Right, so let's go with cinnamon first because that's the one that we like the most. Oh yeah. Well, me not so much after the cinnamon challenge. If you haven't seen that, go and watch our chubby bunny challenge. Yeah. I love cinnamon. More, more, more. <laughs> I'm going to do about a spoonful. Because we're going to have cinnamon in the icing as well, so. Right. Cinnamon, and then I'll probably do nearly a whole one of ginger, because who doesn't like gingerbread? Probably quite a lot of people. Really? I imagine so. It's gone a bit clumpy. Sorry. <laughs> As you can see, I'm really measuring very properly. Wow. <laughs> 
Round of applause for that one. Very properly. Yeah. As you can see, Reed's opening that nutmeg very properly. I can't actually get it properly open. <laughs> My nails are too short. Oh. oh. That's disgusting. It doesn't taste disgusting. Remember, it's a lot stronger when it's all together in a jar. I just don't. It's not how I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's going to go nicely in here. I'm sure it would taste nice. Let's put this back on before I tip like the whole jar in. <laughs> that wouldn't taste nice. The recipe did say to use grated nutmeg, but I couldn't be bothered to mess around grating nutmeg. Ooh, ground so, nutmeg must, yeah. must, must so, work, I guess. That is our spices. It doesn't Ooh. actually look like that much. I'm hoping that it's going to taste no. enough. I'd imagine so, yeah. I've got to remember it's quite a small amount of cakes that we're making. We're only making 12, so. Yeah. That's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, plonk it in. That looks so gross. Yeah. It's because it's. Now it's adding the flour, though, a little like. Mm. It's also because it's not real butter where we used spread. Yeah. I think it's all out. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Right. And once there. again, in comes the music. And here we have our cake mix. Nom 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 nom. Smells a lot better than it looks. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> to be fair, it just looks chocolatey and that's because of the type of sugar that we've used, because of how dark it is. Yeah. Mm. It's not the nicest looking thing though at the minute. Are you okay? I'm so happy. Dancing with a cake bowl. But yeah, so now we've got to try and like put it in Put it in, put, put it, it in. in. We've got to put it in. Uh, the little like cake, oh my gosh, what are they called? Cases? Cake cases, yeah? Yeah, sounds about right. Um, so I think we're just gonna like spoon it out of here, straight into here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, really looks to drop the cakes on the floor before we put in the oven. It flattens the mixture out. See? Some of they them look are good. Like, some of them are a little bit like, I don't know, not full enough, but hopefully it will rise yeah. enough. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be okay. We can make plenty of icing to go on top anyway. That's my favourite bit of oh, the yeah. cake. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to decorate these ones, to be fair. And the bowl is literally completely empty. I'm good. And so it's time to go in the oven. Yep. Which we're already preheated. Woo! We are organised human beings. Go team. Right, timer on. For... Let's go 16. There we go. Boom. Now time to clean. Now we're clean and then chill for 5-10 minutes. And we will be back. So whilst the cakes are baking, uh, I thought I'd show you something that we've actually been gifted by a couple of our favourite YouTubers, um, who are David and Ian. Um, hello if you're watching. As they always do. Of course. <laughs> oh, for some reason it didn't even want to focus oh. on your face then. Hi David, hi Ian. <laughs> <laughs> can see me now. Um, yeah. Um, and so we got gifted this little sort of, it's about postcard size, um, Carl, 
from up and same size again we've got kevin also from up uh, and then up there that's the big a4 version so that's their newest print um i believe their artwork is done on like an ipad or something like that it's all sort of graphics it's so cool um so this one's based on the enchanted tiki room which i have been on it's like an attraction in magic kingdom uh with animatronic birds and lots of music and sounds and it's it is really cool um and i'm sure alex will love that when he actually gets yeah. to experience it next year um but yeah we were so so grateful that they sent us these um yeah. and, and i'm absolutely they're amazed awesome. by them yeah like, they're actually incredible um but yeah so they've got like a shop where they sell these prints which we will have linked down in the description as well as their channel so definitely go check them out they're not expensive prints either no. and like the quality is insane yeah, we've definitely. already seen the one that we want to buy next which is hey hey oh yeah <laughs> which if you don't know is like the little like chicken out of uh, moana he's our favorite yeah i feel like find he's him a, so funny he's a character version of me yeah because he's so <laughs> clumsy you kind of look alike to be fair I don't like hey hey do like a little chicken thing Yeah, I could see it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just made my double chins disappear. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for that. It's actually amazing. Um, we're going to get it all framed and obviously yeah. pop it on the wall, which we will pop a picture on our Instagram when that happens. And I think with these two ones, we're going to just pin them up on our um, little cork board above yep. our sort of vlogging desk area. Yeah, let's stick them up um, on there. And I'm not going to lie, the business card made my heart melt. <laughs> yeah, literally. There we go. Yeah, so you get like this little card. Uh, it's David Ian on there, um, Disney vloggers. And then on the back, you've got their Instagram, Twitter, and their YouTube channel. So there you go, you've got all their names there. Obviously, links will be down below, like we said. Yeah. Um, but it is it's such so cool, cute. like, sort of packaging as well. Mm. It's all in like the tissue paper. Yeah, nice like cardboard box, box. like save the planet, y'all. Yeah, save the planet and all that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're so grateful and like so happy. I don't even know what to say. No, literally, all I will say is, David and Ian, we're gonna need your address soon because we've got something which is going to be ready for about Christmas time for you guys. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so we will move on from that. We and have we have six minutes six minutes left so i'm just going to grab a drink ree's got hers and we'll grab them cakes out they are looking good they actually look really good don't they i think they're done using the trusty lolly stick which we yeah, always use to using it for carve pumpkin apart from making lollies it's just like an all-in-one thing Oh no, I need to try and stand up. Heaps on. I'm up. Cupcakes. Boom. Gorgeous. Oh, they smell good. They actually good. really do smell good. Look at that. Woo. Yummy, yummy. Time to let them cool for a little bit. Get them out on the cooling tray so they can cool completely. So we'll probably go and watch a little bit more YouTube. Oh yeah. We'll be back to decorate them all. Hopefully better than our cookies. I you look, look yeah. sleepy. I do feel a bit sleepy again. <laughs> you filming? What are you doing? Mmm. Open the butter. Lovely, lovely butter. It's it's time to ice the cakes. I would imagine it should be really soft by now. It's been on ages. Yeah, but it's, I've got a hair stuck to me. Lovely. Mmm. Oh, and here are all the cakes. Nicely cooled down. They look pretty good, to be honest. There are a couple that are like a little bit small, but that's fine. Because we'll just ice to fill the case. Yeah. Because I've got piping bags and nozzles. Ooh, ooh. Looks like loads of cheese. I wish it was. 
Let's pop that in the trusty mixer. Now we have to add the whole thing of this. So I would say that that is ready to add. It's ready to add Magic. the vanilla. And a lot. The cinnamon. And the cinnamon. I will get all this bloody thing first. Yeah, that's the only problem with the butter is it's still quite stiff. So if the <laughs> vanilla extract doesn't soften it up a bit, I'll add like a splash of milk, which is another trick that my dad taught me to make it the right consistency. So whilst Alex is finishing off whisking the icing, I'm going to get the piping bags ready. Yes. Woo. <laughs> so as Ree just cleans the rest of that out and, and gets the icing there. ready, I did not get it through her. But I did just try a bit of the icing. Oh yeah. Little piggy. <laughs> um, cakes are ready to be iced there, and these are what we're going to be using. Or well, this is what we're going to be using. Even we've got some bronze crunch. Uh. I don't actually know what it is. It just says it's sprinkles. Don't know. We've got some triple chocolate curls. And then the best bit yet is we've got these little, like, I don't even know what to call them. They're like forest animals. Yeah. And it says baked with love. And you get tan, tan? <laughs> ten handmade decorations. Um, which we're going to add on top as well. That's and so Rhea is now here with the icing. Mm -mm. It's still really stiff because of how cold it is. Yeah, literally. And oh, we've got the piping bag ready as well. Once it goes in the piping bag and it's in the hands, it'll soften up. It should be fine, yeah. So yeah, we're just going to get this into the piping bag and ready. And we will get decorating. Decorations! So, Rhea's been battling the, <laughs> the icing for like five minutes now. And I've only half filled it, so I think we'll just do that and then we'll yeah. refill it, because. Good plan, good plan. It's ready to go. Yes. Come on, Em, you can go first. Oh, yay. Which one are you gonna go for? I'm gonna go for this baby. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It seems super stiff. It is. Do you want to try and not stop? But my hands are running out of. It'd be funny if the end blew out. I've done that before. <laughs> hey. Not bad for my first one. It is so hard to not squeeze bad. it all out. I'm not. That gonna means I've got to try and do mine now. <sighs> Look at me go. I've warmed it up for you. And you're stronger. I don't know, you've got some beefy arms on you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> My first ever time. Let's do a quick little oh, compare. Go compare. <laughs> so that's mine here. Oh, that one's mine. And that one's Alex's. And if you want to know what just happened, I don't know I can't if there's anything even there. Really. But Alex just decided to try and put icing on my face. Hey, do you reckon I could eat out of this? <laughs> this is so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to stop filming and finish icing the cakes properly without messing around like this one. It's nice. Mayday, Mayday. Alex broke the bag. So I had double bagged them. 
so they didn't split because they're only like cheap bags somehow Alex had managed to squeeze the inner bag out of the end of the outer bag and then it like I don't know if you saw on the clip it like went really tight round here and you, it wouldn't let you squeeze anywhere <laughs> so that now means that I have icing all over my hands because I had to fix the situation yeah, we've got a lot more of a mess down on the side now yeah but look I tried mm -hmm. and it didn't work all right no so I'm gonna wash my hands and then continue lovely Time to decorate. Lovely jubbly. So, now with my cake, I'm going to tell a story. Okay. Alright, so we're going to start with some uh, chocolatey, lovely triple chocolate curls. Um, you picked the best iced wait. one as well, didn't you? Alright, I can leave that one. No, you can use it. Oh, okay, I'll use it. Now I'm going to start just popping them down the bottom here. Yeah. Just like that. Oh my god, you're using like the whole pack here. No. Just to like slightly push them in because otherwise they're going to fall. Now that's the dirt. Right. Okay. Now, now Michael, the hedgehog, he's going to go there. Because what he's currently doing is looking for some food. Or, you know, hedgehog food. The stuff they eat. Yeah. Um... But he's distracted by Hoot Hoot by Hoot Hoot the Owl, which is currently feasting on some of the rarest uh, bronze worms that are all, as you can see, pointing out the ground. Um, actually, now that's the sky, isn't it? So he's already got them. And he's just dropped a big old load of them. So, Michael the Hedgehog is in the ground looking for worms, but he's distracted by Hoot Hoot the Owl, who's just dropped his pile of worms. It's just fallen straight down to Michael's worm spot, and he's not happy about it. And like I said, my cake tells a story. So, I'm going to go with a slightly different feel, and I'm just going to decorate it like a normal cake. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm going to get some of the chocolate cows. And just sprinkle, sprinkly do da. Very nice. Get some of the golden crunch. Golden crunch. Bronze. Bronze crunch. Goodness. And sprinkly do da. I think that's going to be my new thing. Sprinkly do da. Sprinkly do da. It would help if you don't keep putting your hand in the way of the cake. Soz. Um, and then I might go for a lovely little Bambi, and she can just sit. <laughs> Alex literally keeps pushing my hand out of the way, I'm sorry. Lovely little Bambi, can go there. Symbols. And so we're going to decorate the rest, and then we'll show you them at the end. And so we have decorated all of our cakes now. Um, this is Reese's side, with her just normal cakes. Simple. Simple, yet tasty. And then there's mine, the storytelling cakes. Go on, explain each and every one. Each one? Yeah. Well, this is the one we've already explained. This one's just simply Bambi having a having a rest. No. There's nothing much to that one. Uh, this is Foxy waiting for the full moon, so he can go chase down some chickens. Uh, this is the owl who's just spotted a big stash of uh, gold in the ground but he didn't actually get there quick enough because as you can see here if it wants to let you see there we go um, is Michael the Hedgehog with Fiona and Fred the Fox doing a little gold uh, a little gold doing a little deal for the gold and then to finish the story off here's Michael in his new uh, luxurious hole after selling that gold ready to hibernate and that's the story of my cakes lovely definitely didn't make that up on the spot um, yeah 
I think they're quite good. I'm very happy with them. Yeah. We got to take some for our friends tomorrow who we're going to Thorpe Park with. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll probably give them a couple of my ones. Yeah, we'll take a couple with us. Just because they're As long as they taste good, good, otherwise we'll be like, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, we'll do a bit of a taste test later. <laughs> yeah. um, we'll probably have one after dinner because um, it is like getting on for dinner time now. Yeah. It's 10 to 5. So We've been a couple hours. Yeah. Um, so we'll probably go and chill for a bit more. Yeah. And then you'll see, probably see Charles. pictures on our Instagram. Yeah. Um, which is just at the A&R life. Um, well, we've, it's linked down below as well, so you can click that. Do you want to yeah. go see the pictures and see what we thought of how they tasted? Yeah. So we're just going to go and relax for a bit, put our feet up, charge the camera for a bit. <laughs> yep, definitely need to charge that now. It's been going yeah. a while. Depending on what we decide to cook, also might sort of bring you along for a little bit of a... This is what we're having for dinner. Yeah. We'll see. We will see. See where the evening takes us. Exactly. So we will see you in a bit.